Hi, I'm Victoria. Because of unfortunate circumstances, I was not able to attend Slut Walk of Windsor this year. I was really looking forward to it, and I had a speech prepared. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, just to get a weight off of my shoulders. And I kind of figured that just because I couldn't make it doesn't mean that I can't say my speech. So here goes. Um, I went to the London Slut Walk la or earlier this year. It was a really uplifting experience. Especially considering the fact that um, I have been raped by four different people. Three before the age of eight. What is Slut Walk? Well, it's a protest against victim blaming and rape cases. You should Google it understand more. I'm probably not going to be the best at explaining it. There is a lot of levels to understanding, I suppose. I remember things that happened to me now. Um, I couldn't for the longest time. My mind began to self-destruct and erase all the memories that hurt me and even some that didn't. There were these three boys who always told me that we were playing a game. They were teenagers, and I was six or seven. I thought that they really liked me and that we were friends. And it's hard to imagine at that age that someone would actually want to hurt you. So everything stopped just because me and my mom moved to a completely different city. I told no one. When I was 10, I visited my father in Texas, and he molested me. I didn't tell my mother until a month after I returned home. I mean, it wasn't the first time that I'd been taken advantage of sexually, so it was my fault. Right? Like I was the only constant thing that kept happening. When I was about 15, I finally told my mother about the three boys because we were having this conversation about how um, when I lost my virginity, she wanted it to be really special. That wasn't gonna happen. It made me feel really dirty, really unspecial, like a slut, basically. After a while, these boys uh, didn't seem human to me. I made a joke of their existence so that it would make me feel better about myself. And it worked for a little while. Um, for instance, I told some of my friends in high school and we all just kind of laughed about it. They constantly make jokes about how rapeable I was. <laughs> Pretty funny, isn't it? I didn't want to accept what happened, but it was starting to do really strange things to me mentally. I was an angry child for most of my life um, because I was too afraid to tell anyone what I let them do to me. Because I was a child and because I was intimidated, because I didn't know what was going on and I was confused and longing for friendship and acceptance and, I don't know, maybe a father who loved me. And then I attended the slut walk in London earlier this year. And finally, I felt certain that I, would <laughs> that I was not asking for it, that I'd never been asking for it.
because who asks for that? I was confident and proud of my ability to finally forgive myself. And then shortly after my London trip, it happened again. And all of my newly discovered confidence <laughs> just shattered. I wanted to die. I was so sad. And I felt so dirty, tainted, disgusting that I just hated myself more than I ever had before. But then someone told me that it wasn't my fault. Actually, a lot of people told me it wasn't my fault. And then I remembered. I remembered what I felt like shortly before this rape. I remember people like you who had been through hard times like me or people who knew people who were like me. People who stood up for themselves, stood up for what they believed in. I believe in this. So that's why I felt like maybe it's time that I stood up too. My name is Victoria. I am a victim of rape. I am an actress and a singer, an animal lover, a daughter, a mother, a friend, a procrastinator, and I'm happy. I am all of these things, but there is one thing that I refuse to be. I won't be afraid. Not anymore. I won't be scared to wear that little dress that I love. And I won't be afraid to go out with my friends. <laughs> I won't be afraid of tall men with deep voices. I will live, and it's because of people like you. Thank you. <laughs>